For so many years, we have held the H3 Festival on the third Saturday of September. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, as you are experiencing, today you will be enjoying the festivities from your spaces at home, your cars, or whatever means you desire. This is a new experience for all of us. I would like to begin our special edition show with one of our longtime festival performers, Haru Music Experience. Oh, and thank you for the birthday wishes. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Now y'all know Haru don't do it like that. Put your hands up, we're gonna turn it up. Put your hands up, we're gonna turn it up. Put your hands up, we're gonna turn it up. Today is the 15th anniversary of A Street Festival. 2020 has been a challenging time for us all, which we will never forget. Believe you me, we wanted to celebrate our 15th anniversary A Street Festival with you. And that's why we created this virtual affair, to keep the festival spirit going, to keep you engaged, and to let you know that we're thinking about you, your family, and friends. And please know, we're praying for you as well. Normally, I'll be hosting A Street on the main stage right about now. 
And I hope that you're pleased, as I am, that we still can introduce fantastic music, art, performances, and H Street to you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please enjoy Fast Eddie and the Slow Pokes. I was busy with me, busy when the lights came on. There was a pot of old bed to break the down. People dancing on the table to do their favorite song. Now I was looking for little sister. There was a party going on. There was a party going on. Party going on. People getting wild with their cat clothes on. Now they were dressed to kill There was a party going on Folks, it's Ward 6 Council Member Charles Allen here on H Street Northeast. You know, this year is the 15th H Street Festival, really a big milestone. And unfortunately, of course, it's going to be a festival a little bit like what we're used to. A lot of it's going to be online, but it's still a chance for you to be able to help support all the great things that are happening on H Street. I know for me, on the mornings of the festival, I love coming down on H Street. The streets are closed, we walk around and we meet our neighbors, catch up with folks, and throughout the morning, support our businesses. We're able to help look at uh, all the businesses and, and great things that make up the H Street Corridor. It's really become, over the last 15 years, much more than just a neighborhood festival. It's a city festival. It's a regional festival that draws so many people in with great music and great art and great food. So this year's gonna be a little different. So one of the asks that I have for you is to think about the restaurants along H Street. And during this year's festival, make sure if you're able to, help support them by taking out a meal or two. Think about the musicians and the artists that normally we'd be listening to. Find ways to help support them because they're really struggling right now. Think about your retailers. 
buy a book, get a piece of clothing, something to help support our local businesses because we want them to survive because I want to see them at the 16th annual H Street Festival. That's something that's going to be very important. Now, if you're not able to financially be able to help support the local business with purchases, just make sure you stop in and say thanks. Thank our essential workers and, and all the folks that are working hard to, to make it through all these crises. But let's celebrate H Street Northeast, all that it is and all that it can be, and help celebrate this 15th annual H Street Festival online. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next year at the 16th H Street Festival in person right here on H Street Northeast. Thanks, everybody. Happy 15th anniversary to the H Street Festival. I would have been preparing for my showcase on the fashion stage, but since we're doing virtual fair this year, I'm just happy to host for you. On our dance stage on 7th and H has always attracted huge crowds. Trained in the Middle Eastern and belly dance and folk dances, Asala is a consummate performance artist that will bring joy to any occasion. Farewell, an all-vegan full-service diner, bakery, and bar is offering a $15 value meal of southern fried wings, fries, and a chocolate chip cookie as a part of the H Street Festival celebrations. Check out other promotions on our website, hstreetfestival.org, and support H Street local businesses. Kevin Wheeler, a.k.a. Fat Cat, is the real deal. Born and raised in the D.C. area, music runs in his family. His grandfather, the late Grant Williams III, played tenor sax in the Louis Armstrong Band. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give it up for Fat Cat and the Blues Band. I got my baby at home. And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone. Oh, I got my baby at home. And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone I don't know if I can find another woman like this That treat me the way she do She treat me good, y'all I got my baby at home
And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone oh, I got my baby at home And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone I don't know if I can find another woman like this That treat me the way she do my baby at home And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone Oh I got my baby at home And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone I know a woman like this is hard to find I better keep her cause she is mine Let me sing another verse y'all I got my baby at home And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone I got my baby at home And I don't want her to feel like she's been left alone DC Fashion Week is the city's highlight in the fall and their preview show is always at the A Street Festival. Today, Ian Williams and his crew from DC Fashion Week has created a unique production, especially for the 2020 8th Street Festival, a virtual affair edition. See how the models transform Ben's Chili Bowl, Epic on H, into their playground. It's high fashion on 8th Street, baby.
I'm Barbara. Have you submitted your selfie video for a chance to win $200 worth of gift cards and vouchers to spend on H Street businesses yet? If not, all you have to do is post a one to three second selfie video using one word to describe what you think about H Street festivals on Instagram. And tag us with the following hashtag, H Street Fest, a virtual affair, and H Street Contest. It's that simple. We have extended the deadline to the end of the month, September the 30th. So come on, give us your best shot. Send us some love and get a chance at the winning green prize. Stable DC is the only Swiss restaurant in the DC area. They have a wonderful raclette experience and they have an extensive list of drinks. Today, we're happy to have Swiss native and co-owner Selvin Kramer, who's gonna show us how they make their very popular immune booster cocktail. Hello everyone, my name is Simon Kramer. I'm the general manager and owner of Stable DC, the Swiss restaurant here on 8th Street. Today I'm going to show you how to make an immune booster cocktail. The immune booster is one of our cocktails which is on our medicine cocktail lineup. It's very high in vitamin C thanks to the rose hip syrup and the uh, lemon juice so it definitely helps you stay healthy and uh, very important especially in this crazy times. Um, the cocktail contains uh, bourbon whiskey, we have uh, raspberry schnapps from Switzerland, rose hip syrup and lemon juice. So to start, we have a paper tin filled with ice. We're going to add two ounces of bourbon. So it's a bourbon forward cocktail. It's a little bit similar to a whiskey sour. So we're adding two ounces of this. And then we're going to add a quarter ounce of the uh, raspberry schnapps or in the rice. We're using a Verbo brand from Switzerland, but you can find it in a liquor store, mainly a German or French brands. It helps you get these floral flavors of the rose hip out a little bit more. The rose hip simple syrup, it's a simple syrup which is cooked with the rose hip tea. We add one ounce of that and half an ounce of the freshness of this uh, lime juice, lemon juice. So, perfect. Then you want to add the mixing glass. It's a shake cocktail, so shake it well for about 10 seconds so the ingredients get nice and filled. A renaissance force to be reckoned with. The music of composer, vocalist, and percussionist. Tolson speaks highly of his African origin. Coupled with his exploration of jazz, funk, and reggae and Latin American music, Tolson's performances are always a crowd pleaser at the festival. Enjoy! <laughs> Around Rea 
Rajoko feel the rest, he let. It make you Rajoko feel the rest, he let. It make you Rajoko feel the rest, he let. It make you Rajoko feel the rest, he let. Did you know A Street Festival has been rated the best neighborhood festival nine years in a row by the Washington City Paper, Reader's Choice, hashtag best, best of DC. And that's because of you. Last year, we had over 135,000 people attend A Street Festival. We're looking forward to seeing you next year at the 16th annual A Street Festival. Keep up to date with what's happening on A Street at our website, hstreetfestival.org. Once again, that's H Street festival.org. For right now, please enjoy Body of Evidence. Oh, oh, oh. 